What's up Black Cat Nation? We're heading to St Andrews to play Birmingham, Tony Mowbray's new team, Alex Pritchard's new team. Now, the good news is, we think Pritchard won't be starting, won't even be on the bench. He's nursing a calf strain, and with the recent team news, um, Mowbray said, I'm not sure he's going to make the weekend. It's a calf strain from that first game. I've said to Alex, there's no urgency. We don't need you to force you back. Um, let's get your calf right and have a week's training. Then you'll be ready and up and running again. So, no Alex Pritchard. So that removes that bogey goal that usually happens when we play somebody who's signed one of our players. So, that's a good thing there. So, the record against Birmingham. The last three outings, the last three meetings of the team, we have won all three. The last time we played them away, we did win. But before that, we'd gone nine games without beating them at St Andrews. So we kind of broke that record already, but our current away form is terrible. Absolutely shocking, as I'm sure you'll agree with me. This would be my lineup for the Birmingham game, if I had a choice in the matter, of course. But no doubt Beale would come up with something unique. I'm going to get a bit of stick for this because of Equa in the team and 9 not as centre-back but just bear with me so across the back we've got Hume, Ballard, Sealt, Yelda now Sealt and Yelda can both play as centre-backs so then positions can switch round Dan Neal and Luke 9 as defensive holding midfielders both have got good defensive obviously and they can both make runs great cover for each other would be a great option there Equa is in front of them in the number 10 because that's where he's best, going forward and attacking. And let's be fair, Job needs dropping after the last game. I wouldn't even have him on the bench. I'd completely rest him for this game. I'd like to see Mundell start on the right. Saw some good things from him. We won't count the giant ninja kick that he should have got red carded for. And then Clark on the left. And then Rusin up front. Not dropping Rusin. Not for a lack of goals. His runs have been superb. He's done all the right things. Just needs the right supply and the right partnership. Hopefully, Equa will push up more than Job did and give him that option. And also, Mundell and Clark both cutting in. I think that would be an absolutely storming team. And if we played that, to be fair, I'd be predicting 3-4-0 to Sunderland with my team. Now, Beal will not play that team. If he does... You heard it here first, I'll eat my hat, but he won't. Um, so I'm predicting, I can't predict a loss, I can never predict the loss. But this is the closest one I've been to predicting a loss. I'm predicting a bounce back though from the lads, but a scrappy one. It's going to be 3-2 to Sunderland. It's going to be one of those last minute goals to pull the winner away. Um, hopefully, a bit of heartbreak for Tony Mowbray and a bit more confidence for our fans going on to the playoffs. Because... I watched the press conference. Um, Patrick Roberts is out for a while now. Um, uh, Beale confirms his injury, if you've seen that already. But in the chat of that, there's people saying, oh, kiss goodbye to the playoffs. Oh, we're done. This season's over. We're one point outside the playoffs. One point. Yeah? Loads of games to go. One point outside. Please stop writing us off so early on. I don't have faith in Beale At all. But I do have faith in the team that we have, in the players we have. And as soon as they start to gel better, doesn't matter if Beal makes a ridiculous sub. Hopefully, we'll already be 2 or 3 nil up that time. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Thanks for tuning in, watching the video. If you'd like to join me on the Match Day Live on SAFC Fan TV, I'll be attempting to do another commentary for the Birmingham game. So, if you join me there, I'll see you then. If not, I'll see you in the next video.